my dear students very nice morning to you today we are going to start a new chapter a new word this is uh, for the first time you are hearing but while hearing or while i am explaining you might think that these we already studied but it's quite different let me start so students the topic is rational numbers rational numbers rational numbers and the explanation what type of numbers are rational numbers you heard the word ratio is it ratio r a t i o ratio is it a least representation numerical representation of two quantities with same unit that is uh, centimeter is to centimeter gram is to gram is it days is to days these are the units representation of relation of two same unit quantities in a least numerical way is known as ratio is it ratio so the fractional representation of ratio that is here we can represent it as 3 by 4 is it 3 by 4 this type of representation this type of representation is not as simply rational numbers that is a number which can be represented in the form p by q p by q or q is not equal to 0 q is not equal to 0 so expression is p by q where q not equal to 0 is known as rational numbers now you may be think is it you may be think that it's in the form of fraction is it p by q where q is not equal to 0 is simply fraction 3 by 4 is a fraction is it you know what's a fraction how can we add subtract multiply and divide is it so what is the difference between a rational number and fraction can you say any difference or can you think what will be the difference between a fraction and rational numbers you study types of fractions is it different types of fraction in which the second form second form that is improper improper fraction can you say the definition of improper improper fraction can you say the definition of improper yes very good aman improper means yes numerator is greater denominator is smaller is it numerator is greater denominator is smaller that means this is not practical in the sense is it this is not practical as you know pr uh, fraction is part from whole it is the definition of fraction part from whole when we divide equally equally the whole quantity we can take some parts is it we can take some parts if when we take one piece of chocolate from this 10 pieces we can call it as the fraction is 1 by 10 is it there are 10 equal parts and i took one from that 10 so 1 by 10 if i took two pieces i can say that 2 by 10 is it so simply this is not possible because the numerator represent how many parts we took denominator represent how many equal parts are there so here eight parts from the equal three parts is it possible never is it so improper fraction is in the sense it's not practicable is it students so the fraction definition means in the form of p by q were p and q are whole numbers whole numbers what are the whole numbers yes natural numbers including zero is known as whole numbers but in the case of rational numbers p and q are in the form of integers what are integers yes very good negative numbers 
zero positive numbers all together we call it as integers did you get the difference fraction means both numerator and denominators whole numbers were rational numbers denominator and numerator are integers got it so we can classify rational numbers are positive rationals where both are positive got it both are positive negative rational number means either numerator or denominator will be negative got it so rational numbers can be positive or negative but the fraction are yes always positive which contains only whole numbers as numerator and denominator while in rational numbers numerators and denominators are integers it can be positive rational or it can be negative rational numbers got it so students this is the main difference between rational and fraction numbers got it and i i already told you all fractions integers are rational numbers is it this is also a rational number a positive rational number this is a positive rational number but in the case of fraction it's called improper improper simply it's a rational number got it there is no classification as proper rational improper rational got it students but in the case of fraction we have improper and proper got it so usually in the case of improper we convert into into yes mixed forms is it whole number and proper is it mixed form but in the case of rational the classification is based on positive and negative integers got it students then i'll ask you a question what happens to the rational number like this minus 4 minus 5 is it a negative rational number or a positive rational number is it a negative rational number or a positive rational number who can say the answer very good huda it's a it's a positive rational number as the sign rule is it you already studied about the sign rules negative divided by negative is always very good positive so it simply 4 by 5 positive so while we have positive numerator and denominator negative numerator and denominator the rational number is is yes positive but we have negative numerator or negative denominator it's called it's called Yes, very good. Negative rational number. Got it, students? So these all are about rational and fraction number difference. Got it? One more important thing is a standard form of rational number. Standard form. Standard form of rational number. This is the standard form of a rational number. That is, common factor of numerator and denominator should be one. and denominator will be yes positive then it's called a standard form of rational number for example 4 by 5 you know common factor of 4 and 5 is yes 1 and denominator is positive another one minus 9 by 11 is it in a standard form yes minus 3 by 12 is it a standard form no because common factor of 3 and 12 is yes 3 so it's not equal to this condition so the standard form means denominator will be positive and the common factor of numerator and denominator should be 1 this is the standard form so we studied what is a rational number means is it then what is the standard form of a rational number got it students so simply we can say that all integers or integers and fractions are rational numbers is it all integers and fractions
fractions are rational numbers. But all rational numbers are not fractions. Got it? All rational numbers are not fraction. Only whole numbers are fractions. Whole numbers are fractions. I think you got the difference between rational and fractions. Got it? Now we can check addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Simply you know addition and subtraction. The rules or the procedure is similar. As it. For example, minus 3 by 10. Okay. Plus 4 by 5. What will we do in the case of fractions? Yes, very good Shifa. What will we do? Yes, we just cross multiply the numerators and denominators. Then we get the numerator part. Is it? And now for denominator, just multiply the denominators. Or we can take the LCM of denominators. Is it? By taking LCM, we can simply convert this fraction to equivalent forms. Is it? So, minus 3 by 10 by cross multiplication we have x minus 3 into 5 minus 15. Is it? Then the sign or the operation is addition. Then 4 into 10 is 40 divided by 10 into 5. Yes, 50. So, here both are of different signs. We should, we should. Yes, subtract 40 minus 15, it's 25. And put the sign of, yes, positive number because 40 is the larger here. Then 25 by 50. We have, yes, very good, 1 by 2. I know you already studied in the case of fraction how to add fractions. In the same way, we can add the rational numbers. Then similar to this, we can, yes, subtract, is it? If it is subtraction, just place here, yes, minus, that is minus 50, minus 40 by 50. And here the numerator will be, will be, yes, very good, minus 55, as both are all same signs, so we should, yes, I mean, we should, Add and put the same sign. So minus 55 by 50 can divide with 5 and we get it as minus 11 by 10. So this is same similar to the fractions. You can easily solve this type of addition and subtraction. Now we can check the multiplication. Multiplication and division. So students we can multiply the fraction such as numerator into numerator by yes denominator into denominator is it so what will be the answer what will be the answer yes very good Aisha that is minus 12 by 7 into 8 Arshia Yes, 7 into 8, 56. Is it minus 12 by 56? Now, what happens in the case of division? For example, minus 4 by 7, division 3 by 8. Fatima? Yes, good. That is, take the reciprocal. Is it reciprocal of which number? Yes, second. Can one is it so we can rewrite it as minus 4 by 7 into into aslaha yes 8 by 3 is it 8 by 3 is it so simply numerator into numerator we know minus 32 by 21 so my dear students the all operations of rational numbers are same as in the case of, case of, yes, fractions. Only the difference is, rational numbers are in the form of P by Q. Fraction are in the form of P by Q, where Q is not equal to 0. But, 
Yes, fraction include whole numbers. Where rational numbers include? Include? Yes, integers. So my dear students, you have exercise words. Try to solve it by yourself. We will see at the DCS to clear your doubts. Thank you.